Hi guys, I'm Randy, RC for short. You know me on the forums as Rumble Cloud. Some of you may know that I've been doing a tail motor upgrade for my Madhawk 300. Um, I found out after a couple of weeks of flying that the rotor blades, although they're nice looking with the three props on them, they're pretty brittle and uh, they're real hard to take off. So in reading through the forums, I found out that you could do a real easy upgrade to a direct drive uh, tail motor assembly. So that's what I've uh, recorded and want to show you today. I hope you like it, and um, if it's informative, let me know. If you hate it, let me know that too. Okay, so here's what we've got. Um, here's my heli. We're going to take out this tail motor, the drive shaft, and replace the tail rotor assembly. And I'm going to replace it with a kit that I got from um, rtfheli.com. Give them a plug and get that out of the way. Uh, the kit comes with um, the motor assembly, the tail motor assembly, obviously the tail motor, some wiring, little washers and nuts, and the tail rotor blade. Um, while I was at it, I also got a couple of fuses. I got a 3 amp, a 10 amp for, for the main motor and a 3 amp for the tail motor. And I also got this cute little on-off switch so I don't have to keep unplugging it and everything. So that's I've taken off the main blades and the canopy just so I can get it stuff. So what i got to do now is um, take off these two screws, one on either side, take this off, and pull that shaft out. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I've taken off these two struts or removed them. And I've loosened this. You don't have to take it all the way out, but I've loosened it up. should be able to slide this right out now. Boink, and there you go. There's your tail rotor assembly. Okay, the next thing we have to do is solder up this little motor. There's the tail motor there. On here, I know you can't see it, there's a plus terminal and a negative terminal. Uh, instructions tell you to put the red one on the plus and the black one to the motor casing and then put it all together and uh, turn it on. And if it goes the right way, you're good. And if it uh, goes the wrong way, you have to unsolder it and redo it. So I'll be back after I've soldered these because I'm not real good at it. All right. Okay, next up, we're going to take the tail fin assembly put the motor on it. Got two little screws here. They're real teeny, so that'll be a pain in the butt, I'm sure. Okay, so there we have it. I got the tail motor on, soldering in place, screwed in place. A little tip, though, before you put the motor into that little hole, route the wires through the uh, tail uh, the tail assembly. Otherwise, you're going <laughs> to be taking it all back apart again. Okay, I have a little issue here. Um, the tail boom won't quite go all the way down into where it's supposed to go so it looks like and I'm going to have to cut a little slot in the top and bottom of this tail boom assembly it's already got two slots on the side and um, now I'm going to have to put two slots on the top and the bottom thank you for confirming that Mr. Tail Heavy uh, you are correct, sir. You indeed do have to cut two slots in there, but thank heaven for Dremel. So let me cut some slots in here and then see if I can get it to fit. So there it is all together. Looks like everything is nice and neat. We got the screw in there. Uh, Tail Heavy recommended putting another screw on the opposite side, but I don't have a drill bit that small, so I'm going to have to forego that for right now. Next thing is to take off the tail motor and then put the boom back on so uh, and then run the wiring and then I think we're getting close to being done to get the tail motor off you have to go up through the bottom of the chassis the long screwdriver and a small one and get the little screws out I don't think you can see them but they're right in here they go up through the heat sink and they hold the motor on so that's what I'm taking out now we'll drop that I got the tail motor loose um, I got the wires unplugged now all that remains is getting it the wires out from between the servo and uh, that main shaft support because they're pretty jammed in there. So the next thing is to route the tail boom in through there, run the wires over here and put that in there and then secure the uh, secure the tail boom. So that's next. Okay, I think I'm done here. I got the wires mounted up. But the next thing we're going to do is put on some fuses, protect my main motor, and my tail motor and then I'll put the on off switch and then I'll put this little prop on and see if it spins in the right direction and I don't want to get ahead of the prop on I have my 10 amp fuse to protect the motor main motor 
Got my 3 amp fuse to protect my new tail motor. I have my cute little on off switch. And now they want me to bind this uh, puppy and see which way that prop spins to see if it's the right way. Okay, so I hooked up the motor, took it for a spin off camera. All it wanted to do was go that way in a uh, clockwise motion. So, so I reversed the wires and uh, now it spins this way and everything's just fine. Well, everything is done, so the only thing left to do now is hook up a lipo, put the canopy back on, not necessary, and take it for a spin and see how much better it works.